Well, I use this lesson as an introduction um, to time because we had just finished our unit on money. I wanted them to think of each individual idea separately first so that they could break it down into even smaller parts. I wanted them to look at time and then they could break it down into hours, minutes, seconds, and then I wanted them to think about money separately. Think about things that make up money, like bills, coins, whatnot, symbols, where it's used, all of those ideas. And then in the end, I wanted them to kind of construct the ideas that bring them two together. After we did the whole introduction to the lesson together, I just wanted to break them up into groups so that they could work individually, touch the blocks, and then get their ideas going. Kids said, oh, I think you can earn time and you can spend money and you can do vice versa with either one. I thought that was an interesting idea because one of my students who was working in this group was not convinced that you could earn time. And two of her group members was saying, I really do think that you can earn time and these are the reasons. And so when they broke it down to her using examples, in the end, she agreed with the other group members that, okay, I understand your point now. They were touching those ideas. They were actually able to make their idea more concrete, more succinct, so that people uh, in their group could also understand that idea. And that's not something that, at this age, the students don't always have the words that they want to use in order to explain something, so I thought that was very helpful. Whenever we do comparisons, um, I think the graphic organizer that comes uh, to mind is the Venn diagram. And that's one thing where you can look at two different ideas on one level, but then if you were to take another idea within that circle um, and want to break it down even more, there isn't really a way that you could do that. And so uh, the think blocks work really well for that. Some of my kids who are not great with paper and pencil, when it's this kind of activity and they get to use things that are hands-on and their input actually mattered to the ideas of everyone, it was more engaging for them.